Hi everyone and welcome to Sustainable Family Home. My name's Mia Swainson and this is my son Ashwin. Hi. Um, when Canberra schools asked their students to go home so they could be pupil free, I decided to use the time at home to learn how me and my children could live more sustainably. So today we're looking at keeping chickens, which we do. Oh, 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 oh. And that. <laughs> <laughs> um, they some. I think Ashwin's got a chicken that's a little bit less um, comfortable being held than mine because my chicken's quite happy here. So we've been keeping chickens for about ten years. Um, we love them, uh, not just for their eggs, but also they're just lovely company in the backyard. They make a lovely sort of rustic clucking sound. Um, and they take all of our kitchen scraps, which we also really appreciate. Oh, sorry, hun. Um, oh, now my one's a bit funny. So, um, oh, hi, gnomes. Hi, gnomes. <laughs> um, so there's four things that you need when keeping chickens. Um, the first one, most important one is shelter. So somewhere for them to lay their eggs and somewhere that's all enclosed. Now we had intended to do this video down at the chicken coop, but unfortunately the internet connection down there isn't good enough. So that's why we're doing it up here at the house. Um, so we built our, um, our little chicken coop for four chickens out, out of recycled materials. Ashwin, what did we use? To build our chicken coop. We use, I think, use uh, electron boards for flooring and an uh, old swing set. Yeah. Did you hear that? Okay. Was the sound okay? Yeah. yeah, yeah so good. like old those um core flutes they're called that you use in elections. So they're sort of the the flooring and the upper thing. But it, the main frame is actually a swing set. Um. But you can use whatever whatever you need. The key is that it's fox proof. So needs to be all enclosed in sort of a wire mesh and at least a little bit underneath so not you can't just go to the ground you need to sort of give it a bit of space underneath so the foxes can't dig underneath and we have a little flap don't we that we open yeah. and close whose job is it to open it in the mornings uh you and me sometimes like shared yeah we both do it it's usually ashwin and i are together look after the chickens and we and also put it put yeah. them away so the first thing for chickens is that shelter. And the next thing for chickens, what else do chicken, our chickens need? Food. Food, yeah. So they, we're, our chickens have both grain and our veggie scraps. But um, what are they, what's their favorite food? Can't remember. Can't remember. What, what were you trying to feed them before? Eggs, no grass. Grass, they really like green grass. Well, our chicks have got a really lovely big run underneath um, a bunch of trees. They still manage to eat everything green inside it. So they love eating grass. They just love it. Um, and their favourite, I reckon, is probably dandelions. But their even favourite than that, I reckon, would be bugs. They like bugs, spiders, anything um, insect-like. Um, can I ask um, gnomes if... She's on the um, on our um, workshop. Do Queen or Van have anything to contribute about what chickens might like to eat? Because I know you've had chickens. Do you want to speak up a little? Oh, can you hear me? No. Yeah, just it's quietly. Yes, yeah, that's it. The boys are hiding around the corner at the moment. I think we, That's okay. when we when we fed our chickens, we we fed them basically most most scraps, and the things they didn't like just get, got left in the in the pen. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, ours eat everything that you know, we throw in there, and if it doesn't get eaten by the chickens, then it ends up composting. And underneath um, where we throw the scraps down, actually, is a beautiful rich soil that I do use to dig out and put in the veggie patch. So it is actually a, it's a beautiful way to recycle those nutrients. The chickens eat what they eat and then, um, then they get recycled. But yeah, ours like to have a bit of grain and I like giving them grain so that you can either throw it in yourself or 
um, we have a little feeder that they can put their feet onto and they can feed. They have to learn how to do it. But um, once they've learnt how to put their feet on the feeder and get grain out, it's fantastic. So that's the second thing. So the first thing that they needed was some shelter and somewhere to lay their eggs. The second thing was food. What's the third thing that our chickens water. need? Yeah, water. So access to fresh water. We have, you know, they would prefer it to be sort of a fresh stream of water bubbling along. Um, we have a sort of a big um, water container that we refill every week, even if it, they haven't drunk at all because they like fresh water chickens. Even if they'll eat, drink any water, they much prefer their water fresh. And what else? What's the final thing we for? What do we do? We need to protect them from um, foxes and well dogs. So what we do is we our yards and fenced cats. and cats. Yes, and cats. So they're fenced. So we keep them inside the fence. It also protects our veggie patch because if we don't have our um, chickens behind the fence, they tend to eat all our vegetables and that does that conversation doesn't go well. We sort of look at them and think about chicken soup if they eat our veggie patch and then usually relent because they produce such beautiful eggs. Yeah, so I think that's all from us. I mean, tr common problems with chickens. Oh, you. Um. Just remembering to muck them out every week to remove all of their, you know, poo and give them a fresh bedding each week, you know, can help prevent the mites. And they also really love having somewhere dusty they can bathe. And that also helps with mites as well. These chickens are molting a bit. You can see they don't have all their feathers. They've lost their feathers and they'll be getting some more. Um, that's just a normal part of chicken life. Um, totally normal. You know they're healthy if their comb is nice and, and red and standing up. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's about all from us. If you've got a question, um, feel free to type it into the chat because I know the connection isn't great. Or um, I think if Zoe doesn't mind unmuting people, um, feel free to ask it because there's not so many of us. Yeah. No. All right. If there's no questions, yeah. Uh, uh, Shall uh, we uh, just uh, say? Uh, oh, uh, thanks. Um, yep. Okay. Whose job is it to take the scraps down from the kitchen? Me. You. <laughs> do you get How often do you do doing that? Every month. Oh, yeah. Well, I do. it's part of your civic duty. So yeah. the kids have, they all have a civic duty. And that depends on the need, you know, like the chicken scraps are regularly Ashwin's job. Yeah. And yeah. do your chooks, do your chooks live into old age or do they get eaten by foxes now and again? Yeah, um, these ones are getting on actually, but um, typically every three years or so, something happens. Um, yeah, either foxes, some sort, yeah, yeah, or um, we had a feral cat come and eat our yeah. chickens. It was that was actually incredibly unpleasant and, and very surprising. And you know, well, actually, the chickens got sick. And then there was a time when the chickens were sick. I think one of the key problems people have with chickens when you're getting new ones is to put little ones in with older ones and I guess we've found if we if they're not at least at the point of lay don't yeah. put them in with laying chickens because the older chickens will just peck them to death which was yeah, a really yeah. really horrible lesson for us to learn you know yeah. these poor little little teeny 10 week old chickens that it's just, a jungle out there. Yeah, it was a real jungle you know and you think and you're doing the right what, thing where do you get your chooks they from? Were, do, you get them, do you get new chooks from the market or? Um, it used to be the farmer's market, but now um, there's a guy from um, the Southern Tablelands who um, puts an ad on Gumtree and he'll oh, meet yeah. you. He's got like yeah. three or four pickup places in Canberra yeah. and um, he'll meet you there. Yeah. Have you got any favourite breeds? What about those big black and white speckled ones? They're pretty amazing. Yeah, so my favourite breed is definitely the Isa Brown. Like I'm, I love chook. Reliable. I love them. I like the personality, but I like that they lay. Um, yeah, yeah. I find the other chooks lazy, which is a terrible <laughs> thing to say, <laughs> because oh, they're not yeah. as driven by food Lucky, as the Isa Browns are. The Isos yeah. are really driven by food, and which is part of their nature to lay really well. 
And yeah. I mean, we have four chickens with five people in the house and that's almost yeah. the right. We probably get three eggs a day. It's about the right number. Maybe we could do with another one or two chickens. Yeah. Yeah. And Ash, but Ash have you ever been to a, um, a country show where they have big displays of poultry and prize winning poultry? Like at the Boona show? No. They, no. they have a whole huge shed just to, devoted to chooks and there's there's amazing roosters and all these incredible birds in there. Get your mum to take you sometime. Yeah. yeah, we should go next. We, we should do that next time, actually. Yeah. Um, yeah, we tend not to do the Canberra show because the kids just ask for um, those bags that end up with Yay, in the rubbish bin. Yeah, junk. <laughs> but yes. they, do, they do have a special poultry show in Canberra. I've forgotten what time of year it is, but I when I, when I was out going out to the Epic Farmers Markets one weekend, I thought, oh, there's the poultry show. And I stuck my head in and it was a big shed full of chickens all going Bruh! at the same time. It was very noisy. <laughs> it was yeah. great. Yeah, well, I think in this COVID-19 time, given that um, you know, all of the COVID viruses come from birds, um, I reckon there will be very few bird shows happening over the next year. <laughs> just as part of the measures the government put in place, will put in place to limit the spread. But yeah, yeah. yeah. quite a number of animals are carriers. And I think those poultry shows will just, they'll take a break from those yeah. beautiful animals. I've but you are fair, you're very safe having chickens in the backyard, aren't you? That's not where you're going to catch any new virus. Right. As long as your chickens are not coming into contact with uh, lots of other chickens and they're not stressed, I reckon until the government says otherwise, you're totally fine. And as yeah. long as you keep their food and their water and their bedding clean, right? Because that's the other way of preventing disease. Yeah. Yeah. Keep them well, clean. Coffee. Keep them healthy. Yeah. And you'll be fine. Yeah. We've Beautiful. Mia. Mia. Yeah. Do you I'm putting my hand up? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Thompson. <laughs> Do you have rules in Australia about keeping um, chickens? Like, do you have to, like in New Zealand, we have to have them a certain distance away from, uh, you know, a neighbour's fence and, and things like that? Yes, we have rules. Um, the, um, in Canberra, the rules are set by the ACT government and those, they think they are things like you need to have the chickens at least 10 metres from your house. Um, you can get, there's a fabulous fact sheet on the Act Smart. You know website so that's a you know the act government um environmental planning sustainability directorate um, website which sets out what those rules are a lot of the rules are actually around welfare as well so there are there are a couple of rules around um safety like for humans but most of it is around animal welfare yeah thank you good question that's okay we had we had the city council come around and check our chickens a couple of times because our neighbors complain so oh. i just I, <laughs> I, won I wondered if there was any rules and they said that our chickens were fine. But yeah, no, our neighbours were not happy with our, us um, keeping chickens. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. Um, it's, not the reason, it's not the reason we got rid of them. <laughs> it was more of, I was a bit of a free range girl and didn't like um, pinning them in. And my husband didn't like finding their pop everywhere. So. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Look, it's compromises. Yeah. Well. I do love, I love the eggs. That's my, I love the eggs and I love the company. Oh, there's grandma.